ladies welcome back to my channel so it's me Shabri. i'm coming to you guys today with a foundation review this is going to be the fenty beauty by rihanna pro filter soft matte long wear foundation it does come in a really nice packaging similar to rihanna style so i like the box that it comes in so i picked mine up in the shade 470 well i actually didn't pick it up i ordered it online funny story is um if y'all know i live in florida so we just experienced hurricane irma in I went to Sephora to pick up the foundation, but they were actually closed in preparation for the storm. So I went online and ordered it, and I just picked my shade based on the color guide of it. And online on Sephora's website, they kind of explain to you the undertones that some of the foundations or that all of the shades have. So I picked it based on that. I picked it up in the shade 470, so it looks like this. And as you guys can see, it is just... A little bit too red for me which is surprising because online the shade 470 was explained to have like neutral undertones so this is like I said a little too red for me and a little too dark for me so I went to Sephora yesterday to exchange it for my correct shade and y'all know we went in us black women we just went in and bought out all the shades so they're actually I believe she said from shades 3 70 I don't know something like from the shades 300 on down to the last shade that were sold out so all of the black girls we did our thing in the store we showed up we showed support and yeah that left me with not being able to get my or purchase my shade but I did get a sample of the shade 450 the shade 450 dried down a little too not a little too dark maybe like a quarter of a shade darker than my skin tone but it was better than getting shade 440 which was too lighter the Sephora representative did explain that um, Rihanna's or Fenty Beauty they weren't expecting such a large sellout of the darker shade so they actually didn't have any of the shades in stock like they ran out from what she told me so she said they're expecting to get a replenishing of those shades around September 25th, September 26th. So in about a week or so. So I will go and pick up or exchange 470 for the correct shade. Now the bottle is very nicely packaged. It comes in a nice frosty bottle with white writing that says Fenty Beauty. It does come with the pump which is really good. And I know a lot of people are kind of thrown off by the top being white. I am also because... Makeup is messy, especially when it gets all over your finger. So I don't really care too much for the white top. But at the same time, it doesn't bother me. Um, they do claim that this is a soft matte long wear foundation with buildable coverage. So more so medium to full coverage. It also states that it comes in a total of 40 shades. So that is exceptional for her to come out with her first beauty line and offer such a large range of shades. That was just... I don't know. She changed the game with that one. Now this also claims to be an oil-free formula. Um, so it won't clog pores or anything like that. So we're definitely going to give it a try. As you guys know, I'm going to do this review as I normally do like my other foundation reviews. This isn't going to be like a Fenty Beauty cosmetic line review because honestly I wasn't too hyped about the other products that she offered. The only other product I would get from that line would be the blotting powder because I love a good translucent powder. So that would be the only other product I think I'll pick up. So I just... For now, I picked up the foundation and I'm going to stick and focus on the foundation itself so we can get into the goodness that Rihanna has given us, you guys. The foundation retails for $34 because I ordered mine online. I think I paid around $42, $43 with shipping. She also has a primer to go along with this foundation. But once I find something that works for me, I really don't like to change it. And again, like I said, I was just more so focused on the foundation and not the other products. So I didn't pick up the primer and I don't think that is something I am going to pick up. So I am going to go in and prime with my Becca Evermatte Poreless Primer. And I don't know if this is going to have an effect or change like the actual foundation, like it's longevity but I use this primer with just about every foundation and it works really well so hopefully I get the same effects normally I would go in and prime with my Philips Milk of Magnesia on top of this but I'm not going to do that today because I don't want to add Sometimes the Philips Milk of Magnesia can be a little chalky. So I, again, I don't want to change the foundation too much. So I'm just going to use the Becca Primer today. So I'm going to go ahead and shake up the product. I've watched countless amount of reviews on this foundation. So all of you ladies are explaining to us to shake it up. Make sure it's shaking up really well. So I'm going to go ahead and shake this up. 
Why am I shaking this up, guys? This is not even the color I'm using. What's wrong with me? I haven't filmed a video in forever, so I'm a little rusty, but we'll get it together. So, this is the shade 450 that I got. Let me co actually compare it for you guys, just in case you're trying to find out your shade. Okay, so here is 450 swatched, and this is 470. So, as you guys can see, 450 has more so of a neutral or yellow undertone to it. Um, so yeah, that's why I chose to go a 450 instead of 470. So I'm going to go right into applying the foundation. Now, I always use a dense foundation brush when applying foundations. I'm going to use the same thing that I would normally use, especially because I didn't pick up the brush that she has with it and I did not pick up the sponge. The foundation is really, really liquidy. Like, it's a very liquidy foundation. It's kind of, oh, and I'm making a mess of it with the sample. To me, the foundation, the consistency of it reminds me of the, um, like the NARS Luminous Foundation, just a little bit. It also kind of reminds me of, what is that foundation called? Maybelline fit me that type of consistency. So I'm gonna go in and press this into my skin before I kind of buff it out I should have had my beauty blender because I feel like oh and I heard this dries down fast. So let me work quickly guys Hmm, it kind of smells like perfume a little bit. I know a lot of people have been saying like baby powder, but I'm not getting baby powder I'm getting like a nice little fresh perfumey scent like like actual perfume. I can't, I don't know. It does dry fast, guys. This foundation dries fast. So I'm happy I didn't use the Philip Milka Magnesia with it. I think it would have been too dry. As you guys can see, like over here, I don't like how that's applying. Let me go get my beauty blender and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So I went and got my beauty blender to kind of like help everything to smooth in more so let's see I completely forgot that this foundation dries down fast and I just like put it all over my face and now I have to kind of correct it this one looks a little red too maybe 450 was the one that had like the red undertones in it but I think I'll be able to fix it liking it I'm not feeling it just yet let's add some more because it did say medium to full coverage so let's add some more it really does have like a like a cologne type of smell to it almost I don't know maybe I don't think it's my brush no it's not my brush <laughs> it's definitely this foundation it kind of smells like cologne well, like a really nice fresh cologne so I definitely like how it's looking better with another layer of the foundation okay that's looking better because at first I was like what are what y'all raving about like I don't like it but now it's, it's looking a little better to me it looks a little um patchy just a little bit but this is the foundation on without my face being completed as you guys can see like my chest area is still just a little more yellow tone than what my face is it dries super quick guys don't make the mistake I made because I felt like I kind of messed up the application and not um, remembering that it dried so quickly because it looks a little patchy or it could be the primer that I used with it I don't know also, I've never had a foundation that felt like this before. Like this just, it kind of dries down to its own feel. It kind of applies differently than any other foundation I've used. I don't know if I necessarily like the way it's applying, but this is what we have so far. As it's drying down, it definitely does dry down to like a matte, a soft matte finish. I know she has claims for this to be like um, very skin-like, and I can see that as well. I can see that it, it does look a little skin-like. Y'all see as I'm talking, I'm like seeing stuff that, I don't know. I'm not liking this area here, why? 
Yeah, you know, tell me when I like it. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face. I'm gonna do it on camera, kind of speed through it, and I'll come back and give you guys some closing thoughts on this foundation. <laughs> The foundation with my entire face completed I finished up my eyes off camera and just threw on some lipstick and some liner off camera as well and this is what we have so far um, let me say this once everything came together I am absolutely in love with the wear and the look of this foundation now when I didn't have anything on I didn't too much like it and again I think that was my mistake I believe the primer may have caused the foundation to look a little splotchy and then I also believe it was a combination of me putting the foundation on and it drying too quickly I forgot that it dries too quickly so if you guys take anything from my review video make sure that you remember that this foundation really does dry quickly so once you put it on your face you are going to want to go ahead and work really fast i also feel as though once you apply the foundation with the brush it is best to go in with the beauty blender and kind of just press it into the skin even more to get it to melt into your skin but once everything is completed it looks absolutely gorgeous i love the entire look of this i'm still a little thrown off by the um red undertone of the foundation but I did try to make it work as best as possible all the products that I used on my face including the foundation I'll list them below in my description box I will come back to you guys um, towards the end of the night to give you an update on the foundation and how it wears paired with this Becca primer let's see if that kind of helps it to keep down the oils or if I get oilier with it I don't know so I'll come back to you guys in a few hours in Give you guys an update on this foundation all right guys so it's been about four hours since i had the foundation on and this is how we're looking so far so it has held up you guys really well at least from what i think i haven't powdered my face or anything i do see that i am getting a little oily like in this area and then let's see like my nose is getting a little oily but it's not bad at all this foundation really does give me a skin like finish but it looks so flawless like it's a really good foundation like in the beginning of, when I was applying it I know I said I didn't like how it applied and I didn't know but like I said once everything is on your face it looks really good it's actually holding up pretty well absolutely do like this foundation I definitely would recommend it it feels very lightweight on my skin if this foundation doesn't break me out I would definitely give this let's say I want to say like an 8 out of 10 only because I don't like how it applied and it dries down a little bit too quick for my liking. If you've tried it, let me know your thoughts on it. Thumbs up this video for more foundation reviews and until my next video, I will see you all later. Bye.